Hi y'all, it's Finn Graves. Um, welcome to my blog, An Artful Life, and I thought I'd shake it up a bit. You wanna see some art? Cause I got some art. <laughs> um, yeah, today I'm thinking a lot about making a Patreon video. I have been undergoing some financial difficulties, we'll say. Um, mostly being 30 without a completed master's degree in the States, you know, like, struggling for an appropriate wage and like getting taxed extra for health insurance you know what the the irs wants fifteen hundred dollars back from me and dirt just cost like seven hundred dollars and then the month before that there was another thousand dollars so i have this personal like financial goals to always have a thousand dollars in my bank account because when shit happens like I need to have some cash so that I can like get new tires or fix dirt's teeth or pay my taxes. But unfortunately I didn't save $3,000. And so like I should have been saving for the last five years for the last three months of my life. It's ridiculous. And I'm finding that apparently I made, apparently I made $18,000 this last year. I have no idea where it went because it definitely felt like I was still making 11,000. So, yeah, so I'm in that space right between things where all of a sudden I have to pay all what to me is a whole shit ton of taxes and I don't have the money as well as I'm trying to get back in school and I have to pay them $500. So that's $2,000 already, right? $2,000. Are you with me on the math here? And I don't have money. And so I called my mom and I cried really hard. <laughs> And she said, it's okay, honey, you're doing a good job, you're trying, and I really appreciate that. I, like, really appreciate that with my mother. Like, she'll, she supports me. She supports that I'm a creative, colorful human. And we talked about things. And we talked about, okay, so what are you going to do now? Because life is expensive and getting more expensive. And I'm like, well, I'm really trying to get back into school so I can finish that. And she's like, oh, good job, you know, like, let's support that. Let's keep that going. And I talked to my buddy Melinda, um, who's being awesome and totally letting me trade art for, for being my doctor, which is rad. I like that. Obviously, I feel shy about it. This is my shy face. And she said, oh, yeah, I mean, you could totally do a Patreon. And Cedar is the one who suggested it um, and made me think about it. And I mean, like, y'all funded my Kickstarter two years ago. And that was rad. And that was the first time that I felt validated as an artist is when I got my Kickstarter funded for my graphic novel, Rommed. And that's amazing. And what that told me was it cost me $2,000 to get my graphic novel into like 50 of your guys' hands, like 50. And it cost me $18,000 to even produce the damn graphic novel. I was like, oh, calculating everything makes me feel even more broke, right? Because it's like, okay, here we go. But so I'm trying to just like sit with that and allow that to happen, burn some pretty candles about it, you know? And the candle's actually almost done, so that should be settling into the ground very soon. And I'm really, I really am. I'm looking for support. I'm looking for support from hearts, you know, like Melinda made me feel very supported by allowing me to do um, a, an art piece for her, for her practice room. And my buddy Haley is going to have me put up my, my Chinese medicine illustrations. So they'll be there soon. And I'll give you more details when it's actually there. Um, Cause I'm into two of them. And my bestie Fred commissioned a piece so, I mean, people are, like, really, like, helping, and I want to get to just be grateful for what people are helping, and at the same time, I'm still experiencing this massive scarcity complex, where I'm just like, okay, I'm putting in 40 hours a week on art, period, no matter what, like, not counting podcasts and video blogs and other things, and at the same time, I'm just like, I don't even know what to do. And so my, now my plan of attack is actually to do something totally different. I'm going to go to Hawthorne as soon as it's actually sunny and start doing a free sale once a month. I have a bunch of art and I'm just going to go down there and have it be the same day every week if I can. 
you know, because that doesn't always, that doesn't always work. It could be the same day every month. Um, but my current job has a very strangely flexible schedule, flexible on my part, um, not so flexible on theirs. And so I'm going to go down and just like start giving it away again. Like that's one of the things that is really like, I feel like stopped me up as an artist is that it, I've been hoarding all of my art and holding it next to me. And do you see how big this is? This is huge. Like, yeah, I love this piece, but it's huge. And um, that's just, that's like a half size of the normal pieces that I do. Right above it is a giant octopus, the juggler. Um, yeah. And so I'm, I'm stretching, I'm doing different things. I'm painting on chairs. I'm gonna be painting on hoodies and stuff like that because my mom said something recently that was really what I considered to be pretty relevant is she's like shading we're playing and we're doing art together and she's like shading this much of a tree right like this much which is nothing in my world and she's like drawing on it with this green gel pen and she goes this is so tedious <laughs> and my first response was to laugh and to just be like see art is real work it's hard so there it's as tedious as filing sometimes but really I just laughed and I was like, is it tedious? I mean, it's like the thing, <laughs> like you can finish this. And she was doing a good job too and it looked good. And she's like, oh, the best that this is gonna do is like hang on someone's wall. And I was like, oh, dude, you have a really good point. Like I can't help that I have to make art that's gonna hang on someone's wall, but what are other ways I can affect the world? Okay. Okay. What are other ways that I can affect the world? And so I decided that there were other ways that I can affect the world. And one of those ways is by doing a YouTube video blog. Um, and another of those ways is by showing people how I make the art that I do make. Because I find it very therapeutic. I think that it's really good for souls and hearts and mental health everything and so that's community outreach right and then the fourth the third way that I thought of no I think it was the fourth fourth way that I thought of was podcasting with Fred which is awesome and I love I love doing and then continuing collaboration so that's something that I'm gonna do and so I'm getting good at posting twice a week um, posting a podcast and posting a video blog uh, each one of them once a week and so I think that I'm almost ready to make that Patreon video, but I'm still, still not quite there, you know? Like, I don't have the right equipment, or, I don't know. You know, like, I think it's probably just fear. And I'm working through that currently. Burning candles, the candle has gone down. So, yeah, that's what I'm thinking about this week, and click follow, and I'll see you next week.